Chris Far Ford. Thank you very much, Mr Chair. It's an absolute pleasure uh, to speak uh, in the Finance and Government Administration uh, uh, part order, of this debate. I, I, I will sit the member down. I will start his time again. Um, Mr O'Connor, um, I would appreciate it if your coaching of the chair ceased. Thank you. Mr. Mr. Chair, Farfoy. thank you very much, uh, Mr. Chair, and thank you for doing a great job. Um, can I just... Um, there are many examples of the visible arrogance of the government, and we've seen the arrogance of the Prime Minister uh, this, in the last couple of weeks around his inability to tackle uh, foreign trusts. Um, but there are some invisible signs of the government's arrogance that I want to talk about during this section on finance and government administration. And that is the total lack of respect that the government has around the Official Information Act. Because for the Official Information Act to have any integrity, a government has to abide by the letter of the law. But we've seen time and time again over the government's, la over the government's last seven years uh, where they completely and utterly play the OIA and in some respects, Mr Chair, completely and utterly don't abide by the OIA. The Official Information Act is very important to make sure that the decisions that this government makes are transparent, that it adheres to the rules that govern it, and that they aren't pulling the swiftly behind us, behind the scenes for New Zealanders. But there have been many instances where the government has been pulling swifties, and it has gone out of its way to conceal that by not obeying the letter of the law around the Official Information Act. And I think, in this country of New Zealand, where we hold the democracy and transparency of that democracy, maintaining the integrity of the Official Information Act is extremely important. And I'd like to put on the record my thanks to the new Ombudsman, Peter Boucher, for the remarks that he's made since he's been appointed to that role because I think the government is going to find it much, much harder with Mr Boucher at the helm of the Ombudsman's office to pull the Swifty on New Zealand as it has for the last seven years. And Mr Chair, I'd like to give you an example where the government tried to pull the Swifty on my office when I put in an OIA request around the costings around its Home Start Housing New Zealand package. I wondered whether or not the government was just using its Home Start Roadshow as a bit of a publicity stunt where its MPs could use a platform to go out and talk about the apparent uh, success of the government. And when I asked them for the costings uh, and what was going on behind the scenes, um, there was quite a lot, and I think the people at home can see that, uh, that was blanked out about how these uh, Home Start Roadshow meetings were being organised and what was going on behind the scenes. And in this page here, Mr Chair, you can see that the um, Housing New Zealand Department has ruled this part here uh, under Section 92 GI, which in English means out of scope of the request that I've made under the Official Information Act, and they've blanked that out. And interestingly enough, the words preceding the blanking or the redacting says, National MP Palmjeet Palmer has also expressed a strong interest in holding a roadshow and then it goes on to say, in the famous words of the Honourable Annette King, blankety blank, 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 blank. <laughs> and I wanted to know what was going on and why this says blankety blank, 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 blank. Because why would the official say that this, I can't have that information because it's out of scope? Well, thankfully, Mr Chair, somewhere else in that OIA, someone forgot to blankety blank, 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 blank out the details after those words. And I have got it here on the record that it says, Palmjeet Palmer has also expressed a strong interest in hosting a roadshow, and here comes the blanked out part, because she is keen to raise local profile in Mount Roskill in the case of a by-election. Now, why, Mr Chair, would the government not want the people of New Zealand to see that? Is it because it's illegal to use taxpayer money to campaign and that, that might cause them huge embarrassment? I would hazard a guess, yes. And, Mr Chair, I want to know 
why the government is so arrogant that it thinks it can blankety blank blank its way to completely and utterly disobey the Official Information Act. And that is complete and utter arrogance and out of touch because they know that if the people of New Zealand saw this blankety blank 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 approach that the government is taking, they'd be disappointed. The Reverend Dr. David.